Uh, Great Stretch brought to you by DigiKey and it for this time of the week, every single week, one Lady Ada uses the power of engineering to show you how to find things on DigiKey.com. Lady Ada, what is a Great Search of the Week this week? This week, I'm looking for a surface mount USB connector for this tester that I've designed. Mm. So let's go to the computer and I'll show the part in question. So the original board that I'm revising uh, had a through hole, had all through hole parts, which was, you know, great and everything, but these had to be assembled by hand. And uh, I kind of, I'm a little, I, I don't want to do that. I want to, you know, make 50 of these. And once I, once I get the test design done, because we use these in so many boards, I want to just do a run of 50 um, and not have to hand solder them anymore. So this is like the classic through hole USB A connector and it's great and everything, but um, for this New version, again, I really want it to be as SMT-ified as possible. And I did have like one, um, you know, you can see this is an SMT USB-A. Not necessarily going to go with this connector. This is just a connector that was in my library because I'd used it before. Um, so I put it down as a placeholder. But let's go and find a, a possible, uh, some possible alternatives for the through hole USB-A um, in surface mount on DigiKey. So... Let's go, well, not, not translate, go to di, di, digi key, not digi. Okay, so uh, let's go to USB type A. Um, that's the thin, long one. You're like, why don't you use USB-C? I don't actually know how to deal with the host side of USB-C. I just want to do USB-A because it's like, I know it. I just want ground, D plus, D minus, and five volts. Okay, a lot of options. Uh, connectors, here you go. So I want... USB connectors. It even has the photo of the USB-A connector. Um, so I want connector assemblies. There's about 3,000. So let's take a look. Yeah, these look right. I mean, this is actually starting to look like these are USB-As in all sorts of shapes and sizes. This is kind of a cool vertical USB-C, classic USB-B. All right, so let's start with, <coughs> we only want the active products. Okay. And then uh, we only want one port. So that's a really easy second filter. Um, next up, connector type, right? Like there's this is, you know, the, the, all the connectors that are sort of similar, DVI and HDMI and Ethernet, and whatever, they're all kind of in the same area. And there's, you know, there's micro B, micro A. I've actually used like micro A, but I really do want to have just that standard chunky classic type A connector. Uh, you know, I don't need to save space. And um, moreover, I want it to be very user friendly because people are going to be using it might be like, what is this weird, like micro AB is like a very weird connector, to be honest. Okay, so um, I selected the A. There's a couple versions here, but I selected all three of them. I'll also pick up the, the dash. Okay, and then we're down to 600 components. Um, number of contacts. So, uh, actually, no, we'll, we'll look at that later. Okay, uh, plug or receptacle? We want receptacle because we're going to plug in a USB cable into this. Cool, Let's see how we're, we're doing. Okay, yeah, we still have some good options here. These are all looking about right. After I do a couple searches, I like to go down and just make sure, like, am I, am I on track? Okay, so let's now do the mounting style because that's, we want surface mount. Uh, so this board edge cut out surface mount, select those. We don't want free hanging or panel mount and then surface mount, through hole. Now, um, a note, if you see through hole after surface mount, it's still mostly surface mount, but it might have a through hole board guide or tab or something. Uh, so it's okay as long as the surface mount comes at the beginning. So let's uh, apply. Okay, now we're really, we really cut it down to 85 um, bits. Okay, so the next thing is um, you know, some of these are USB uh, 2 or 3, sorry, USB 3 or 4 or whatever. And so they'll have more contacts than the classic um, four contacts. I really want just four contacts. I don't want anything special. I don't want USB 3. So let's do that. And then uh, I was also like a lot of them are in stock, so that's kind of good. So let's look at uh, normally stocking. Let's exclude marketplace. So we get down to 45 options. Okay, cool. So next up, um, these actually look pretty good. So there's a couple things here that I noticed when I looked. 
So you see how this this has like a little like a hooky thing. So even though this is surface mount, I feel like the pick in place is gonna have a lot of trouble getting those springy bits to push through. Because uh, you know they push through and then they spring and hold up against the PCB. So this is surface mount, but it's I think it's I feel like it's hand assembled. I don't know. We might not have to be. Where something like this is definitely surface mount only. Like there's no through hole sections. Um, there's also a few that have something like this, where if you see the plastic, this is literally going through the board, which I don't want. This is what uh, was categorized as board edge cutout. You know, the board itself has a rectangular slot. This means that you can have like the, you know, the connector in line with the PCB, which is kind of, sometimes for enclosure design, it's actually quite nice. Because you have a clamshell with two halves cut out and then, you know, the USB goes in the middle and half is on each side. Honestly, I don't, you know, for my, for my uses, I don't want that. So I'm going to get rid of the board edge cut out options. And the next thing is I do want to pick and place this. Uh, so I'm going to go only with cut tape, digi reel, and tape and reel. Um, a bunch of these come on tray. And I'm not going to, it's like, no, the, I, need to just, I want this to go through the pick and place machine. So let's apply. Okay. So finally what I did is I actually, you know, some of these were good. So this is actually kind of what I have already now. But I actually looked at quantity available. Because this gave me a good idea of what was like a well-supported one. And so again, this is close to what I have on the board itself. The issue is, is that, you know, there's a lot of leverage there. It's very easy. Somebody pulls on the PCB, you know, they pull on the, the PCB or the, on the connector. And those USB type A connectors on cables are like amazing levers. They're like long and they're like extremely strong and they're molded. I feel like somebody just yank and they would just yank the, you know, the, the pads right off. This one's a little bit better. It has two sets of pads. So I feel like this would, you know, if, if you really wanted to do surface mount only, this would probably survive better. Um, again, these are good, but I just don't know if the picking place would be able to get this through to the PCB. So what I really liked was these Amphenol connectors, which were also very popular. And the reason I like these is they do have a through hole tab, but the tab doesn't have like a massive kink in it. It's like, I feel like it could it's it'll it'll push through and you know you can even make the slots a little wider so maybe there isn't anything in the way but then you have uh paste on the pads and it kind of solders it in place sort of like how um, surface mount usb type c connectors work right you have it's pick and placed and then you have these slots and the slots you know you have paste on top of them and they just give a little bit of mechanical through connection to the pcb and, and, and gives it some strength so i really liked um this connector quite a bit and what's interesting is if you look at the data sheet, they actually have two versions. They say, look, if you have a low cost machining process, you can drill a hole. Look, if you can have a hole that's um, uh, plated, but it's only good for like 1500 cycles. But they're like, look, if you can get a slot, an actual slot, you'll have less leeway. This is good for up to 9,000 cycles, or if you use, I guess, this other part, um, 12,000 cycles. So I thought that was actually kind of interesting. They actually gave you two um, options for how to have footprint for this USB connector with different reliability. Either way, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm happy with 1,500 cycles, or I'll do the slots, you know, just for the heck of it. Um, but I rather like this uh, part. So this was my pick. And it's not too expensive either. It's, uh, you know... 75 cents, less than a dollar in quantity, and comes on uh, tape and reel. And it's a great charge.